Hi, once again, today is Wednesday, September 4th, 2024. Uh, I just, I've just read an article, short article, so I decided to read another article. Last night, I skipped reading an English article, uh, so uh, today I'm going to read one more. So that's why uh, I'm going to read this article. Uh, in four years' time, I have to get out of this company called KT. Korea Telecom, number one carrier in Korea. Uh, the company did good to me uh, for the last 30 years. But when your time comes, you need to jump out of the plane with a golden parachute. So uh, my golden parachute is okay. I get paid a lot. But since I am uh, in debt, uh, the retirement package is relatively uh, smaller than other uh, colleagues, but that's okay. I just spend money on my first daughter's uh, education at Durham University. My daughter, uh, my first daughter is 20 years old and she goes to Durham University in the UK. But uh, it, she just goes uh, there for preparatory uh, courses. Uh, after one year, she would be accepted to the university. If she is not, uh, she has to come back and do the chores at a local uh, candy factory, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, if you fail, uh, no future. Uh, you just work at a kitchen or uh, at a small factory and you get just uh, make your meat uh, meat, uh, ends meet and uh, ends met and uh, basically uh, you become a lower class uh, so that's the life when the life uh, harshness hits you you bend over and rebound uh, so uh, let's find out what we can do uh, after retirement or in retirement. This article is from unbiased.co.uk. A lot of, uh, you know, I've read a lot of UK articles. I think uh, uh, British uh, people are very uh, versatile and verdant. Uh, they speak a lot and they are eloquent in their speech and in writing, like a Harry Potter's book. Uh, books. Uh, so I think uh, the UK people are quite jabberish, speak a lot and uh, talk a lot, while Americans, they are very uh, noisy. Uh, their voice is very shrill-like and very noisy. Of course, Chinese are also noisy because of their language structure. They have uh, four uh, notes. Uh, speech notes like a da, 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 da. So they have a different uh, uh, notes and the speech notes, and it's quite noisy. Uh, yeah, let's cut down the bullshit and uh, just delve into what I have to read for you and me. Uh, I'm just going to read this article to practice English by memorizing words, expressions even sentences and also to get some knowledge uh, about on this on this subject matter and also uh, you know uh, practice pronunciation or honing on honing on my pronunciation is quite important because after four years time I have to retire but I would like to get a job uh, in U in the UK uh, in Canada or the US or the Australia. So uh, that's where I want to have second job. Uh, even the, uh, it doesn't matter if the job is in the, uh, any European country because uh, I can use my English to get a second job. Uh, North Korea, no problem. I speak Korean, so I'm, actually I'm Korean, so uh, North Korean job is also okay if my government approves, of course. Or a job in China, no problem. If it pays me well, that's good because I am 
I have been learning, studying Chinese for three years now. So, but uh, the speed is, it, my competency comes very slow. Yeah, L let's just cut the bullshit and uh, just practice English. Things to do in retirement. 25 ideas to inspire you. 10 minutes read by Nick Green, last updated Thursday, February 22nd, 2024. Ready to turn your retirement into a thrilling new chapter? Discover 25 exciting ideas to keep your days vibrant, engaging, and full of joy. The thought of retiring and not having to go to work anymore might be tempting but freedom can be a double-edged sword, double-edged sword. Boredom can often follow close behind, so you should aim to see retirement not as the end of something, but as the start of something new. Boredom can often follow close behind. Boredom can often follow close behind. The question is, what? That's what this article is here to help you find out. It's a good idea to take a proactive approach and make new experiences part of your retirement planning. The, the, uh, the Age UK Index of Well-Being in Later Life revealed that engaging with the world around us through social, creative, physical or community activities can contribute more than 20% to our well-being in later life. What's more, choosing the right goals and activities helps people make friends, provide a structure and routine, and bring a sense of achievement. Here are 25 ideas to get you started as you begin the next fulfilling chapter of your life. Boredom can follow you close behind uh, as you begin the next chapter of next fulfilling chapter of your life. Uh, yep, get you started. Here are 25 ideas to get you started as you begin the next fulfilling chapter of your life. Number one, declutter your home. Go through your cupboards, wardrobes, drawers, and desks and while you are at it get in the attic and sort out all the things you've been meaning to uh, for years keep anything special and enjoy some reminiscing and sell or donate the rest okay sort out all the things you've been meaning to you will have peace of mind that all positions are in order and you've got all the things that are most important to you and what you find can be rejuvenating by reminding you of your younger self and the things you will enjoy rediscovering. 2. Explore your local area, round the world trips or luxury cruises are the big retirement cliche but there's also a whole world to explore around where you live if you've been working full-time for decades your universe has probably shrunk to your home workplace and commuting route yet yeah, decades right these missing uh, there is almost certainly somewhere there will wow you less than an hour's drive from your front door. Go and find it. Search out the forgotten footpaths, hidden woodlands, river walks, and cross-country trails. Hidden woodlands. Hmm. Forgotten footpaths, river walks. That's good. Good word. River walks. Whether you like whether you like to stroll uh, sedately, that's a strange expression, or hike at peace, there is bound to be a walking group local to you. 
to make sure you are not trespassing or don't get lost, check out all the resources available at Working for Health, Riverwalk. Hmm. Well, I have to go to work now. Uh, it's about 10 more minutes to walk. Every morning I walk 4 kilometers and every uh, evening after uh, for, the, for the day's end, I go back home on foot, so that's another 4 kilometers. Each day I walk at least 4 kilometers. On weekends I work like, uh, I don't know, 8 to uh, 12 kilometers on an extended power walk. So I walk a lot, but fr uh, from this article, uh, I learned such expression as uh, river walk. Uh, boredom can follow you close behind. Uh, here are 25 tips get you started uh, as you begin the next fulfilling chapter of your life. Uh, yep, I will just continue to read from where I left off in the afternoon. Take care. Bye-bye. So uh, I didn't finish the uh, rest of the story yesterday. Uh, today is uh, Thursday, September 4th, 2024. So I'm going to finish the rest of the story for you and me. I'm uh, as with yesterday's morning, I'm just sitting at a bench in front of the biggest church in Gwangju. Uh, number two, explore your local area. Round the world trips or luxury cruises, cruises are the big retirement cliche, but there's also a whole world to explore around you, where you live. If you've been working full time for decades, your universe, your universe has probably shrunk to your home, workplace, and commuting route. There is almost certainly somewhere there will now, uh, there, uh, there will, oh, there will, while you last than an hour's drive from your front door, go and find it. Search out forgotten footpaths hidden woodlands, river walks, and cross-country trails. Those are good expressions, man. Whether you like to stroll sedately or hike at pace, there's bound to be a walking group local to you. To make sure you are not trespassing or don't get lost, check out all the resources available at Walking for Health. Yeah, let me stop here and uh, memorize the uh, good expressions like a river walks, uh, hidden woodlands, uh, commuting route. Yes, I commute on foot every day, so my commuting routes are, are very interesting. I get to walk four kilometers, that's about two and a half miles. So my commuting routes are excellent. Uh, hidden, uh, uh, hidden, lost footpaths, right? R lost, forgotten footpaths, forgotten footpaths, hidden woodlands, river walks, cross country trails. There will why you, there will there will why you shrunk decades, luxury cruises, world trips, see, stroll sedately, or hike at pace, hike at pace, hike at pace. Three, become a tour guide. If you love interesting and beautiful places and are fascinated by the past, why not find out more about volunteering as a tour guide, as a tour guide. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm an official tour guide for Korea. I was licensed to guide you uh, around, the, around Korea speaking in English or taking Korean uh, tourists overseas so that I could be a good interpreter and a tour guide for them. I'm an official tour guide uh, in Korea. 
There are historical and cultural gems all over the UK, and organizations such as the National Trust are always looking for enthusiastic room guides, uh, conservation assistants, and storytellers. Room guides? I guess like a Windsor Palace room guides? Number four, work for wildlife. If you love nature and wildlife, there are organizations such as the Wildlife Trusts that welcome volunteers, whether that's raking hay meadows, monitoring or recording wildlife, or taking part in citizen science projects such as bird and butterfly accounts. Number five, research your family tree. Wondering if you are descended if you are descended from royalty or rogues, where your ancestors lived and what their occupations were? Due to a whole host of online resources, such as Find My Past, re researching your family tree is easier than ever. Check out census records, right? Yeah, I'm sneezing, so uh, I'm going to blow my nose. Check out census records, military records, and search for globe-trotting relatives from passenger lists. Who knows what you will uncover? <laughs> you could also get your children and grandchildren involved as an ongoing family project. <laughs> this is a great gift to offer your family and future generations will thank you for the, for it and future generations will thank for it future generations will thank for it number six dress the part if you are captivated by days gone by or just love an excuse to dress up, joining a local drama society or a reenactment group could be a great fit. Hmm, that's good. Uh, joining a local drama society or a reenactment re group could be a great gift. If you can find out more about the uh, Knights of uh, Skurbeck, there's a misspelling, double N, unnecessary. Uh, Regia, Anglorum, Vikings and Saxons, Dark Age Cornwall, Lord Hopton's Regiment of Food Tudors and Stewards, and more at Historic UK. Uh, joining a local uh, drama society or a reenactment group, reenactment group. Could be a great fit. Could be a great fit. Joining, joining, joining a local drama society or a reenactment group could be a great fit. Number seven, get musical. Whether you've always wanted to learn an instrument or used to, but have neglected your talent for years, now's your chance to find your inner maestro. Whether you are drawn to the piano, bass guitar, clarinet, or drums, you now have the time and discipline you might have lacked when you were younger. There's a lot of information to get you started on BBC Learning. Alternatively, if you can hold a tune, why not join a choir? Community choirs are thriving all over the UK. Your local library is a good place to find out about signing groups in your area. Right? Uh, hold a tune. I can hold a tune. I can hold a tune. Hold a tune. Number eight, learn to dance. Few things are more effective than dancing at keeping body and brain healthy. It's also great fun even if you think you don't dance. Whatever style suits you, line dancing, ballroom, salsa, tap, or ballet 
Regular dance classes will keep you on your toes. Regular dance classes will keep you on your toes. Regular dance classes will keep you on your toes. Organizations such as Silver Swans offer free online ballet exercise classes designed to get seniors moving to music at home. Hmm. Hold the tune, hold the tune. Number seven, enjoy some me time. If you like to while away some of the hours of the day quietly in your own company, pick an absorbing hobby that's just for you. For example, buy an old classic car and fix it up. Learn woodworking to make your own furniture, ornaments, gifts for friends, and decorations to sell. Make customized greeting cards or write a novel. Number 10. Get out and about. If you'd like to get out of the house and meet new people, pick a hobby that allows you to do just that. Ideas to mull over include bird watching, train spotting, fishing, fossil hunting, buying and selling antiques, beekeeping, amateur astronomy, or metal detecting, right? Metal detecting, fossil hunting, uh, beekeeping, uh, trans train spotting, train spotting, uh, bird watching, uh, buying and selling antiques. Number 11, stay fit and flexible. The best way to keep going is to keep going. To start a hobby that gets you gently moving, such as yoga, golf, darts, bowling, a pool, uh, walking, football, uh, croquet, tai chi, archery, pilat uh, pilates, which aims to strengthen the body. I wonder if the pilates is the uh, pilates. Right, the pronunciation. I was just curious about the pronunciation. My wife is doing a Pilates every day. She said Pilates, right? Let's find that out. Pilates, right? Pilates. 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 Right? Pilates. Pilates. What the fuck? Where or why? Ooh, really? Are you fucking serious? Yep. So, Pilates. Uh, train spotting, bird watching, fossil hunting. Uh, bird watching, general fitness, well being. Which aims to strengthen the body with an emphasis on core strength to improve general fitness and well being. Yeah, I'm drinking water from the bottle, uh, which was distributed by these uh, kind hearted church members. I really appreciate the church's effort to provide cool uh, bottles of water uh, on an irregular basis. <laughs> Number 12, help out. Charities can always use a helping hand, whether that's delivering food to homeless people, walking dogs, or caring for cats at your local animal sanctuary, or sorting donations at a charity shop. You will get to meet new people and feel good about doing you a bit. About doing you a bit. Number 13. Doing you a bit. Doing you a bit. 13. Become an expert at absolutely anything. Whether it's learning a new language, how to bake a flawless sufu, performing mind-boggling magic tricks, identifying bird songs, or gardening, 
You've got time to practice till you are perfect. 14. Get an allotment and grow your own. Growing your own food is one of the most rewarding experiences. And all that time spent digging and harvesting your crops in the open air will help keep you healthy. Gardens, gardener's world will be on your reviewing schedule so you can learn how to care for your seedling potatoes, uh, runner beans, and carrots. What is runner beans? Find out more at National Allotment Society. Get, your, get an allotment. 15. Upcycle furniture. Dust off those tools and pick up some inspiration from the repair shop. Upcycling is a great way to give your furniture and home a vibrant new look and avoid filling up landfill sites with unwanted items. Make it yours has some good tips for upcycling and beginners. And if you get really into it, you could even turn it into a small business. <laughs> Number 16. Start a small business. If you've got a hobby or skill that has the potential to earn you some money, why not turn it into a business? For example, uh, if you are skilled in arts and crafts, you could make items to sell at marketplaces or online. If you love animals, you could become a dog walker, dog groomer, or a pet sitter. If you are an ace at bank, Bank or baking, you could start your own cupcake business. If you are an ace at baking, 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 ace, if you are an ace at baking, if you are an ace at baking. <coughs> If you are an ace at baking, if you are an ace at baking, you could start your own cupcake business. Get some tap, uh, top tips by checking out the government's advice on starting a business. 17. Find a part time job. While some people are very self-motivated, others find it harder to stick to routine when they don't have to anymore, which is why having a part-time job can be beneficial, <clears throat> as well as earning some extra income. It provides structure to your week. Rest Last has some good tips on finding a part-time paid role that suits you. If you'd like to work from home, there are some fantastic part-time career roles for retired professionals who have spent many years in a corporate environment building up extensive knowledge and experience. As a part-time consultant, you can exchange your knowledge for money. It's a great option for businesses as you give them access to specialist knowledge and advice without having to take on full-time employee. For freelance opportunities, check out sites such as Guru and Upwork to build up a client base. Number 18. Get to grips with financial matters. If you are not totally sure about how comp compound uh, interest works, would like to understand the stock market better or be able to pinpoint exactly what your tangible assets are, uh, now's a good time to brush up on your financial expertise. It can also help you feel more confident about ensuring all your financial affairs are in order, ducks in, ducks in, the, in the row. Uh, when you speak to your financial advisor. And once you are happy that everything is sorted, you can carry on enjoying your retirement.
uh, number 19, take up home brewing. If you love a mug of ale or a glass of wine, why not try making it yourself? There are kits to get you started, but once you've got the taste for it, you can develop your skills to craft the likes of IPA, stout, or elderberry, damson, or blackberry wine from fruits you can forage. Try this winemaking guide from Almost Off Grid. You can also learn more about how to invest in wine here. 20. Become a pub regular. Local pubs often play host to skittles leagues, pub quiz teams, and darts leagues where you could meet up with friends for traditional pub games such as dominoes, backgammon, or droughts. I wonder what the droughts are. Usually droughts, right? Droughts are different spelling, but it means the lack of rain, water, droughts. Uh, but here, droughts are different. This is a different, right? Desiccated. 21. Look at life through a lens. Uh, let's find out what the droughts are here. Yeah, sorry about that. Drought. Draft, breeze, gust, drink, sip, depth of the submergence of a ship, catch a fish. Draft, breeze, gust, drink, drought. A draft? Damn, draft, not drought, a draft. Draft, breeze, gust, drink, draft. Sorry about that, pronunciation is different, man. Drafts. 21. Look at life through a lens. To a lot of people, photography focuses on snapping stuff to put on social media. However, there's a lot more to the true art of photography. Looking at life from behind the camera can help you see the world in a whole new light and keeping an eye out for a great picture makes every trip a bit of an adventure. Photography also gives you a way to use and develop the artistic side of your brain, which has to be a good thing, good fit, good order. 22. Get on your bike. Cycling is becoming ever more popular as people look to use their cars less and step up their, uh, their exercise levels. You can find the UK National Cycle Network routes on the Sustrans website, along with lots of ideas for routes to pick, from artwork and art trials, routes to the best Sunday lunch uh, destinations, or even the most haunted places to bike through if you are seeking a thrilling cycling adventure. If you are not quite as fit as you once were, don't assume this is inevitable. Many people can find a greater level of fitness post-retirement than they enjoyed before. And if your joints get stiff, invest in an electric bike to help you up those hills and you can still enjoy all the benefits that cycling brings. 23. Become an online gamer. If you are well know, it is well known that any kind of puzzle activity is good for keeping your mind agile. But why not step it up a gear? I like a Sudoku. Uh, online gaming is providing popular, uh, proving popular with people aged 50 and over, as well as playing a range of puzzles and games. It gives you the chance to connect with people from all over the world from the comfort of your armchair. But you don't necessarily have to settle for traditional games. There's no reason why a pensioner can't play the likes of the World of Warcraft or front Fortnite. 24. Grow your friendship group. You've now got time to get to know the people around you a little better. 
rather than just sticking to friends in your own age group, <coughs> making friends with people of all ages exposes you to new experiences and different points of view. Younger friends will also benefit from your life experience. You could even sign up for a pen pal scheme. 25. Stay social. Whether it's catching up, uh, whether it's catching up with your friends on Facebook, setting up a WhatsApp group, Skyping your relatives in Australia, it's never been easier to keep in touch. Get up to speed with the social media and the latest online platforms. You can chat with friends and family worldwide whenever you like. With so many activities to choose from, you will wonder how you ever found time to work. If you found this article interesting, you might also find our article on the best places to retire in the UK too. If you are still in the face of working out how much income you will need for retirement, try using unbiased pension calculator. The author is Nick Green. Uh, Nick Green is a financial journalist writing for unbiased.co.uk, the site that has helped over 10 million people find financial, business, and legal advice. Nick has been writing professionally on money and business topics for over 15 years and has previously written for leading accountancy firms PKF and BDO. He looks smart and fit, uh, physically fit, right? But before I close, there are some expressions that I would like to remember like a good fit or reenactment uh, group, uh, fossil hunting, bird watching, train spotting, uh, what else? Uh, uh, resounding success, right? Economic. Uh, hold a tune. Uh, if you are an ace at baking, if you are an ace at baking, if you are an ace at baking, uh, get on your bike. Mm -hmm. Look through lens, uh, tour guide, uh, pinpoint exactly. Well, that's it. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.